Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we're back at the door card for the 50. And the reason being is I think that I've thought it over enough in my own brain that I know which way I'm going to go. And sometimes that is the issue. You must ask yourself. When you're doing your project, you always, have, you always question yourself which way you should go. And I just take a little bit of time, which I did yesterday, spent it with Jolene, had an amazing time, but I've made up my mind. And I'm going to tell you what I made my mind up about. On this one here, on this pattern here with the plastic, if you did not have anything to start with, I think that's a fantastic idea. $3 at the dollar store, get yourself a piece of plastic, find all the holes. It was not a very good pattern because it was all um, folded up and that sort of stuff. But what I was thinking with this one, if I did this pattern and on, put it on the board, each hole that I have here, I would have been known, known where it was. I was thinking about drilling a hole in this piece here and then putting one of these plugs in it, in that part of the hole. I could put it in there and glue it in there and then we cover the material over top of that. I'm thinking you probably still would see the head of that. And also what I did is I come up and tried to put one in the door. It went in just fine, but getting it back out, I would have destroyed the door skin, no doubt in my mind. I would have destroyed that um, I'm, I'm masonite, what's some thing I'm calling it, or, or uh, what else they call it? MDF. MDF. I'm, I'm thinking that's okay. I had a little talk with Floyd last night. And he thinks that I'm thinking that's the board that he's probably using. But that idea, me punching it in there like that and trying to get that door skin back off, is not going to work. I don't like the original door skin, uh, the metal pieces going across, because what has to happen is, is the the metal piece comes up on this side, and then the material will cover it. You would put like a little foam on it, no doubt in my mind, so you would not be able to tell it was in behind there. Also. What happens to those, you can see that door skin all rolled up on the side where it's broke, where someone's been trying to get it off and on. So I decided against both of those ideas because um, I feel that I do not have to do that because they have done that. There's other ways of doing it. Let's go over to um, the Cadillac for a second. Now, Floyd did the interior on the Cadillac. Um, this Cadillac has been all the way to SEMA. Um, it was bragged to be a 35-day build, like we, uh, we bought it, we chopped it in half and did what we did. Um, but all the panels, you can see this little red cover there. There's a screw underneath that with a little red um, cover, which covers it. So basically, there's no windows in this car. It's full-time Roadster. So we didn't need anything to get inside. So basically, that's how we put them on. And to me, um, I do not have to put them on up here because we have the garnish molding, but I can run one or two down the side and you will never see it because of the seat you would never see it down there you might see maybe two screws up front and that would be it and i think i'm okay with that and basically um that is that's the end of it if i'm okay with it i'm guessing that it should be good enough so when we put the interior on it we're going to try to keep it smooth like i mean let's face it if it does not work it's okay um, at least we tried um, you cannot you cannot say anything about nothing if you've not tried like basically um, the knowledge is doing it so what we've got right now is got the just want to let you know what i know that's all i'm trying to tell you let you know what i'm know we got it fitting good we got see you can see the screw holes i put in it right down the side down the corner one in the middle one in the other middle and one up front then you have two inside here with the door handle which sucks that in nice and tight when we screwed that on it looked really nice didn't it Mm -hmm. did not so this is what we're going to do on this video we're going to cover it um i'm going to get a piece of sandpaper and a block and the reason being is it's it's wood so i should be able to sand it and what's going on is i would i just want to straighten straighten out a little bit that's all um, this is a panel that we made so along here's a little crooked just going to straighten out a little bit Don't know what, what grid of sandpaper I should be using, but I'm going to go stronger. This is a 220. I'm going to try an 80. I'm going to sand this board before we glue it, and I'm thinking it'd be the right thing to do. And the reason I'm thinking it's the right thing to do is because um, when, Joel, when we sand anything, everything stick better, do they not? So we'll probably end up trying to do that for sure. There we go. No edges on it. 
I am not an interior man, but I can make a panel, or I can make a pattern. So basically you can too, obviously, it's a pattern. It's not the end of the world, it's a pattern. And the better you make your pattern, I'm, I'm thinking the better it's gonna work out for us. So you get a little slot going there in the middle of that. Guy wasn't perfect with a jigsaw, was he? And when we're sticking it on top of this board, we don't want anything on top of this board because it'll be in between our material and we don't not want that. Also, if you stay tuned, you're gonna to get to see Jolene for an appearance because I'm gonna to have to have her help laying the material down. That's what I'm thinking anyways. Eighty grit sands this masonite nice. If you want to know, eighty grit sands it really nice. Stay on top of the holes. We don't want any issues with anything sticking up. None whatsoever. Around the corners, nice with this. So what I would do uh, with the panel that we have. In the plastic that we have, um, I would take a bigger pattern from the original one and then make your new one and just try to make it fit the best it can. Uh, the old one did not fit the greatest. I would have been disappointed if I just traced it and cut it and put it on. And the reason being it would have showed some paint down on the bottom corner. It would have showed some paint. I would not have liked it. It wouldn't have made me happy. All right. Good. I think I'm good there. Right there needs a little bit. Be desired. Just gonna flop over. Marked it for the side that I'm gonna cover because I could cover it for the wrong side. Can't say I've never done it because I have. <laughs> This is where the glue is going to, or the material is going to flop over on the back side. So I just give her a little sanding. Probably might stick a little better for me. I'm not sure. Maybe. All around those. I'm going to end up pulling that material through those holes and gluing it down. So we'll sand around them. I read the directions on the glue, and what it's telling me is if I glue one side, you have to wait longer before you apply it and put it on. If I glue both, if I put glue on both sides, well then I can, then I can put it on a little quicker maybe. There's gonna be some time in between, what can I say, in putting it on, and I should have a rag. Should have a rag is what I should have. I'm gonna look one for a second. Never even thought. We'll get it. We'll get it to sand it off. I'm gonna use a piece of 220 to sand it, just the front here, so it adheres. Just gonna sand it. Not sure if it's necessary, but anything to help it if I can. Appreciate everybody coming back. We really appreciate it. I am very excited for the next couple of days. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Do not want to jinx it, but we have, or I have, or me and Joey have, um, yeah, we got, I feel like is good news. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited for the next couple of days. See what happens. All right. That is sand it. I should have, I should have the rag. Just rag on me. Ah. <laughs> Watch yourself, have a, have a seat. That rag got on it, but that's not a rag. <laughs> that's not a rag. You shouldn't even have it on my hands. 
um, slide it off. Now we got our material here on another table. We need, we need more than enough. What I mean by more than enough, we need it to wrap around each side, so we need more than enough. Just gonna bring that down some. Give us about there. I'm just gonna draw a little. Got enough around there. I'm gonna draw a little chalk line on this. Using chalk because that's what we found. And I'm pretty sure that we have no issues with that coming off, or it should come off no issues. And we know that we can get more of this material so let's if if anything goes wrong because i'm not saying this is it we're just trying to make something on our own that's what we're trying to do hard in the eyes there baby can't see it all righty what's wrong with these scissors uh, they just weren't in position, that's all. This would be good for Floyd because he can scream at the TV and tell me whether I'm doing it right or wrong. <laughs> So I'm hoping that when we glue it on, it's nice and flat, no wrinkles, and I want to take the puffiness away from it. We're trying to, um, what I'm thinking is, it, that should, it should look really sharp. Like, I mean, what I mean by sharp is, it's just board being covered. It's not a piece of uh, foam on top of the board. Sometimes it can get, get away. I think what the difficult part is too is going to be laying this on and getting it her stack. Alrighty. And I gotta make sure that we cover the right side of the board. <laughs> keep saying that, keep, right? And, I, and the reason being is, is I gotta remind myself. Also, I say things over and over and over again is because I've had people explain stuff to me four, five, six, seven times. I've had, I've explained stuff to people five, six, seven times. And they still not understand until they see it, if you know what I'm trying to say. And if sometimes if one person gets it, gets it real quick right off the button, well, obviously that's great. But the person that's not getting it right at that present moment um, gets left behind if a person does not repeat. And uh, nobody wants to be left behind. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna get some glue. This stuff says six to eight inches away. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try not to get glue on anything. I'm gonna pull this over like this. Let's just do a little test pile for a second. Uh, mm. Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure how much to put on, but... Now, I don't know if them spots that's spitting out there right now is going to affect anything or not. They're going to lay down or what they're going to do but I don't want them sticking up in the material, if you know what I'm saying.
I just don't want that getting up on us, that's all. And I want enough, enough uh, product on there to make myself happy. This has to be flipped over. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Take our magical... Where'd the other half go? We have another half of this bad boy somewhere, right there. We'll take this and put it underneath here. This can be a, what did we bought it for, a tablecloth. Can't baby. Yeah. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the, the material, or yeah, get this place to lay down. We're gonna take this off. Gonna make a place for it to so we can spray glue on it not affect anything we're going to move this because we don't want glue on that yet no we do not lay that right there get our material laid back down not sure about the dirt stain there what that all about Just pick that up. Just want to be able to put, that's what I'll just leave it like that and then I'll pull it that way and we'll do that. So the trick is going to be able to get this piece here laid on top of that, that board flat is what the trick is going to be. And then after that, it's all spray and eye time. Can't see what's going on here, just go a little bit by a little bit. You see anything, sweetheart? <laughs> Not really. Me neither. We're going for it though. So basically, we're trying to um, make interior without a sewing machine. That's what we're trying to do. Not everybody's got a sewing machine and not everybody's been taught how to sew. I did take economics when I was younger. I did sew, um, but never was taught interior or anything. But I know how to use glue, <laughs> right baby? I know how to use glue. What's that? I'm going to I'm going to test it right now. It says to test with the back of your hand, the softest touch, I guess, and to see if it's it's ready to rock and roll. That's dry. I think we're we're ready to rock and roll. To be honest with you, I'm gonna put a little bit more on for. Cause it seems to be. I think it goes together better when it's um, when it's both pieces have had someone put on it, and I don't even have to go. All right, what's going to happen is we're going to try to lay this thing down at one one piece. We don't want to get a wrinkle in it. Then we have to try to pull it off the board. I, I do not know what's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is is I'm going to go to one end or maybe this end, 
And then Jolene will lay it down slowly. Like she'll have it up like this and you'll just go all the way down. Which way would you like to do it? Would you like to do it this way? It doesn't matter, whatever you want. Okay. I'm thinking lengthways would probably be lengthway. Um, tacky? Now, what has to happen? Maybe, maybe you're going to have to come over here and place it. Come over here and just pl um, place it on the bow. Should this overhang a bit? Right yeah, there? it should. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this, to be honest with you. Oh, there we go. Now, will you take one end? Just take both that corner up there. Don't put yeah, that corner there. I'm going to take this corner down here. Maybe we'll do it together. And do it this way. Have you got enough on your end to cover it? You got enough to cover it? Yeah. A lot more than enough? I've got about... Go for it. Lay it down. All right. You're hired. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. You could be surprised how, many, how easy it would be to mess that up. You know what I mean? To get a wrinkle in that? Yeah. Nailed it, boys, we nailed it. Nailed it, we nailed it, we nailed it. Oh, that's nice. A bit of a thing going on there. Probably shouldn't have put that on there. It was in the roll when we started it. Remember that piece little? I don't think it's not hurting anything. A little bit of washing. Good. Now, we haven't got much over there, baby. You got enough, though. She was making sure I had enough down there. She's so kind. <laughs> Alrighty. Not sure, like, I, I know the corners need material taken away when we turn this bad boy over. I'd like to use this table again. Let's take this off. Down that way. Glue should be dry. Table's not quite big enough, but let's turn this over. I just want to turn this over on something um, clean. Now is the time when we turn it all and pull it all over and try to make it look nice or try to. What's that, sweetheart? Should we glue the back side? Yes. Okay. That's what we're going to do right this present moment. So we're going to run some glue on this here. What has to happen? Maybe I'll cut the corners before I do that. Mm. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit off here. Just so it's not so excessive. This side here has got probably way too much on it, maybe. We'll cut a little bit off. Could be wrong, like I mean, this, this, you know, could be the wrong thing to do. I'm not sure, but um, I want it to look as neat as possible. I don't want a whole bunch of material in the, hanging in the back if there's no need. I'm thinking that. Um, once that comes down, there's going to have to be a... We'll glue that side down first. Don't want to cut it all the way into the, all the way in there, obviously. But I got to have some action going on there so I can get it folded over.
Um, I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't have uh, some clamps, like little clamps to hold that on there. Do you want me to run? Nope. How about I spray it and then I run? Okay. <laughs> because I got to have dry time. Okay. Let's see how it... I'm just start in the center, I think, what I want to do. Not sure if that's ready to roll over and stay there or not. Nope. Wait, wait nope. 30 seconds. Wait a little bit. I'm going to go run, run and get some clamps right back. You can pause if you like or keep her on. Look at the beautiful outdoors. Alrighty, got our clamps. Let's, let's, let's fold this over and see what we got. I can see that the hole is going to get covered. Got to do something with that. Let's do this first. Yeah, I covered that so good you can barely tell. Here's the hole. Hmm. I want to cut some of that. Holding my hands are clean. Seems like it's stuck good. Yeah, it did. Seems like it's stuck good. Jolene's happy with me, boys. Jolene's happy with me. See, that's the thing right there. And you get started doing that corner stuff. Hmm. I may cut that wrong. I'm not sure. Let's spray the other end so we can let that dry for a second. And I'll figure out the ends. Let's figure out this now. So I pull that over there like that. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh. Make sure we get it sprayed. Now, we just got a tiny piece there. And then we got a one in the corner. And then Something like that. Get that in there better. I don't like that. It's at the top though. Okay. We'll go down and ravel that in. Glue that in. I'm thinking we will. I should just cut it. Hmm. 
Anyways, let's cut it. Pushing it on as tight as I can get it. We'll have to deal with that now. <laughs> if I was doing it every day, I'd know exactly how to cut it. Guarantee it. That's stuff right there that holds you up off your car, you know. But that's up in front. Let's cut this off. <laughs> Don't cut too much out of it, Chetty. This one here seems like it'd be cut off straight. That seems good to me there, I don't know. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's do that then. Hmm. Just gotta cut this. Bring that around. Everything's holding over here really nice. Really nice. Nice. Awesome. Now to figure out the corners. sure I have enough. That's what I want to make sure. Let's just do this.
the end is kind of actually nice to figure out in the end, you know, if I cut it right. That's where it gets tricky on the men's. I mean, let's face it, you want them as thin as possible. And I got hemi overlays there. Playing trickery on me, tearing my scissors apart. There we go. Oh, I don't know if that was the right choice or or not. Sure did wrinkle there, didn't it? Can't have everything perfect, can we? Or can we? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't like what do I don't like? A little glue right there. Take a clamp up. See if that'll work. Wasn't letting loose it long enough, maybe. We're in the center of this one now. stuff I don't like. I'm just going to be cut further or what? Get. Where it has to be. actually side there either. I'm saying that we're glued down. Could reinsure yourself and run some tape around there I guess. Let's turn it over and take a look at it. Yeah, any bubbles in it sweetheart? You're more than welcome to rub them out please and thank you. Rub them out. Alrighty. Turn these over. There's what we have so far. Mint, beautiful, eh? Mm -hmm. I don't like that so much, but 
you can see where I've got it wrapped around there. You can tell I'm not a professional where you wouldn't see that little kinkle dinkle there. Um, this one hasn't got much of a one. But if you're down there looking at the bottom of the corner of the doors on our car, God bless you. See, that's where that overlapping thing is not coming. So I need some more glue there, I think. Nope, don't want to spray it on the table. Yeah, we'll let that set for a minute. And we'll make sure that's glued down. And then we're off to... I could run some tape around there, and I still might after a little bit, run some tape around there, just try to make sure, give it a little extra adherence all the way around, smooth it off a little bit. Um, now we're going to grab the other material. We'll wait till that adheres a little bit. And we'll take that panel and set it aside. Let me do this. Looks nice on the front, don't sweetheart? Mm -hmm. I still have to cut all these out and bring them around. I'm not, not excited about that, but I probably could cut them right out. They're glued on. They should be fine. Instead of pulling them through and then glue them on the backside, I don't have to do that, I don't think. Now, this is the other material Jolene has picked out. We're going to take a piece off of this. If Jolene will take the time, and sh can you show them on the phone what we're actually doing or what you've asked of me to make? And uh, we'll show you exactly what we're doing, how we're going to make it. Yeah. I'm hoping that's cut, cut straight. <laughs> now, I have to get this cut straight. How am I going to do that? Um, I'm going to have to lay it on the floor, no doubt in my mind. You know what I mean? Um, I should put this on now. Just trying to push this stuff down nice and tight. That's what I'm trying to do. I probably will come in. I'm probably gonna go get myself some, some tape and I'll make a little piece go around to hold all them pieces on there so they're nice and tight and right, you know, try to hold it down. It's not sticking, this, this material is not sticking on top of the other material that nice. And some of the places kind of look like the first time I covered something <laughs> on the corners. But let's face it, this is in, in, in the back side, in the back area. So you're not going to see any of it as long as it stays glued down. What I'm going to do is, um, there's going to be a couple parts to this because we're going to have to make a pattern out of that. And then from what I, I, I just said that to myself actually as, as I said that. We were going to make a pattern out of that and then we're going to apply it to this. <clears throat> when we were going to apply it, um, we're going to apply it on top of this. And where I got thinking about the glue is, is it going to adhere that to the face of this? That's what I was just thinking. Remember I said it doesn't stick that good on top of that? So what's going to happen is, um, I'm going to show you what's going on here. Let's just, just take a look at it. It looks like a covered board. It looks really, really, really nice. Um, we know where the holes are. Just kind of cut them out gently. And when we put it on, we'll leave them there for now. But uh, we're going to leave the board the way it is. There was a little mark in the material there before, and there it is there. It's still there. We have a pattern that we want to put on this, and then we got a bunch of chrome that we're going to put on it. Um, if you come back tomorrow, um, you're going to get to see us do it. Because right now I feel like um, I want this stuff to cure back here. I'm going to put a, maybe um, a couple pieces of tape on that maybe, just to make sure that stays down. I feel like doing this part and gluing that on and putting the chrome on is a, a time on all of its own. So basically that's how I got that covered. Um, we're, we're going straight ahead and we're going to drill the holes and put buttons on like the Cadillac. I feel no harm, no foul, because if you come take a look, you can see where the seat is. You would never see any, any screw marks down there. You might see maybe one, maybe two on the other side up front where the uh, A pillar is. You might see two there and that would be it. Now uh, the other top, the, the top is held in by the garnish molding uh, and the bottom has three screws which you're not going to see because of the seat. Thanks a lot for coming back everybody. Really appreciate it. 
Um, that's a start. We're not saying that this is, is, the, is the deal. We're just saying that this is the start of the panel that we're making. We're going to see how good we can get it to turn out. And then, then we'll, we'll go from there. Um, thanks for coming back. Really appreciate it. And if I can do it, you can do it. Come back tomorrow and we'll start all over.